Hello everyone and welcome back to our vlog. And this is Days of April. So today I'll be sharing to you some of the props that I use here while teaching online with kids. Of course, there are so many um, ways for us to do this. However, I would just like to give also some ideas and some tips that I may be able to share with you. So without further ado, let's get started. So the first thing I have in my class is, of course, I have my signature greeting. Um, this is a way of becoming friendly and lively to the student and as well as to the parent who is watching while you are teaching, of course. So I have in here my stuffed toys. This is Piglet. And then this is Teddy. And then I usually just change um, vice versa with them. So I play along with them, with the kids, via online. How I do that is I introduce them first, like, say hello to Piglet. Hello, I am Piglet. Nice to meet you. Like that. And that way, the student will be able to have that comfort and to have that friendly manner that the teacher has given to them. In that way, the child won't be threatened. The child will feel like it's like a play and it, it will be have um, learning and fun. All right. So that is how I do my first parts, my paraphernalias. The second one is, of course, sometimes the best of all is the best way to have your props is to comfort them with a big smile and with a tpr uh -huh. total total physical response so the tpr will help the student grasp what you are trying to say or trying to do i have also some animals in here if uh, my topic is about animals like i have a lot of animal like a puppet animal like you put it in your finger like that and so these are the puppet animals that I have. I have a hippo, an elephant, mm -hmm, a cow, a mini mouse, a rabbit, and a teddy, a turtle or a frog. Sometimes I interchange them because there's just... They just look alike. And then we have a panda bear. We have a lot actually there. And I also have a realia of an elephant. Like it was just from my keychain. So I just got it there. Okay, so these are some of the props I have for animals. And for colors, I make use of a Rubik's Cube. Sometimes I have two Rubik's Cube. The other one is for me not to to sleep while waiting for the next class. So I play with this. And this one is for other purposes, just in case I don't finish the other one. All right, so I show colors like red, yellow, green, orange, and so many more. But others do, um, you know, stickers of colors. Like this, for example, I have here my reward system. I just updated my board. So here my name and the platform's name have some ice cream here a honeybee if the student uh, did a good choice so i'll put a honeybee on the honey and um, cookies so this is my jar and sometimes i put stars on my jar oh it fell so i made it how did i do it like i made it on my own this is a diy Right, you put, oh, I'm so sorry. So you put the stars here, there, sometimes the cookies, you just put it there. Oh, it fell. Because the sticker is not anymore good, so yeah, it it might fell. So I have to put another sticker there for them to work. You know, all right. But actually, what I do is... You can actually do uh, like a different thing on this, but 
yeah you just have to stick on that one and then I have here the numbers all right this is a foldable crocodile numbers so the crocodile once you say one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten all right so these are the crocodile numbers and then we have in here of course our flashcards for the alphabet so we have a b uh -huh, a b c uh -huh, d e f and then g and so many more that's it so I, a b c d e f g something like that all right so that's how the letters are and i also have some big stuffed toys here so these are my stuffed toys this is a this is a gift from my husband and i use it i when i was still his girlfriend so i use it as my props before and until now when we differentiate big and small i use the big teddy bear and of course this one too small sometimes a bird and owl this is owly mm -hmm. and then of course i show a happy face here ah, are you happy all right yes i am so and that uh that one too uh i also have the days like monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday sunday and then the letters of course like the small letters and i think that's it most of it are all you know used and of course cannot forget my parfernals here so i usually make use of this when i'm having class just to make sure that everything is nice and friendly for the student so those are the main props i have and the reward system i have in here so that's it most likely and i hope that it is helpful for you and i hope that in this way you can also gain some insights and what to do with your board and make it even more beautiful in some sense. All right. So have a nice day. Bye.